So this is a short demo of ChatGPT. So I've already logged in. You do need to register to have an account for ChatGPT. So let's get started with our, our first question. Um, um, so I'm going to type in something very common. Um, how do you design a hypothesis? And, and click enter. And you see that ChatGPT starts to generate an answer for me. Um, Remember that the answer that it's providing here is unique. Um, if you ask the same question, you, you'd get a different answer. Um, you know, completely original content. It's worth also noting the speed with which ChatGPT manages to generate this particular answer. Uh, you know, we're talking 30 seconds to produce that. Um, it saves all your searches as well, and you can try it again. Let's try something different. Let's try something, um, you know, let's add some references in to make this a bit more academic. So add some references and it produces a list of references here. There has been some questions around ChatGPT, particularly about whether these references are genuine or not, you know, um, and, and its ability to make up references. Certainly at least one of on them, one on those I recognize initially straight away that's being genuine. So that's quite interesting. Let's try something a, a little bit more academic, um, perhaps an assignment. So this is what, write a um, you know thousand word piece about uh, learning styles you know something which you know was often considered in the first few weeks of higher education though it's been widely um, debunked in, in the literature um, so let's see what it comes up with this time so once again note the speed with which it comes up remember you know once again this is completely unique content so, you know, if you ask the same question, it would be different. And you, you, the way you ask the question can generate several different responses. The generation of uh, as prompts for ChatGPT and the other tools is a real skill in its own. And you ca can manipulate it quite cleverly to, you know, generate the kind of response that you want. You can also fine tune your answers. You can ask it to write in a slightly different, more formal style or more relaxed style. You can ask it to expand on certain points. Um, some, sometimes you crash it, but often it can refine the piece of work. Um, you see it's speeding through here. Um, you know, we're only in at 30 seconds and it's almost completed the assignment that we wanted. Um, but, you know, like before, there's no actual references um, in text, so there are no citations. So let's just stop that there and let's ask it to rewrite that piece but add some in-text citations just to show what it can do. Um, uh, and hit off it goes. Uh, see if it puts some references in. And there's the first one. And you can see it's starting to put some other citations within the text as well. After it's finished, you can say, please change the citations to Harvard style or APA style, and it will do that for you as well. So, you know, it's quite clever. Let's look at an image one. So this is the DALI. Um, so um, I've logged in once again, you need to register. So you can ask it to create anything. So let's create an image of a student um, who's on a laptop, who's perhaps looking a little, you know, uh, confused about their work and see what it comes up. Just like ChatGPT, the images that this tool creates are completely unique. Um, there's some interesting debates about copyright and uh, such like with these. This little scroll bar goes across, then it creates you a series of images. Um, I mean, th this one happens to have a limit on how many you can use. But other tools, like the one embedded in Padlet, which we have subscribed to as an institution, gives you uh, free, unlimited uh, generation tools. It can create some really random stuff. You know, so let's just try something a bit, not that odd, but slightly odd. So let's create a um, an oil painting, uh, if I can spell painting, of a, a university, um, and let's surround this. Let's put it in a desert. Let's put it this in a de desert. I think. Once again, I need to learn how to spell. Surrounded by uh, palm trees and camels, and just see what that comes up with. Uh, scroll bar goes through and we see several unique images of 
there on an oil painting style. So really interesting. I'm going to show you one more. Um, just going to show you consensus AI. It's really, really interesting. So let's the, straight to the, the website. Don't need to sign up at the minute. Learning styles in higher education. Um, and when you click on this uh, consensus, what it does is it surveys the academic literature and these little boxes as they load and reveal themselves will provide short summaries of academic papers. So the bit in black text, bold text, is a summary of the paper. Then beneath that, you've got the, the journal article that it's come from. If you scroll down, you can see it flags some as very rigorous sources. Um, I'll leave you to make a judgment whether we think this particular journal is a very rigorous source or, or not. And you can see it's got, to, it's got systematic reviews flagged for one down here as well. Um, it also flags scoping reviews. If you click on any one, it gives you the abstract. It gives you the citations. Um, if you log in, it gives, actually tells you where it cites. You know, is it in the background information, in the results, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so these little summaries are really useful for you know, well for for us and for students in kind of you know getting a a snapshot of what the literature is saying. You can obviously filter by year just to you know narrow down the work in particular areas and, and such like. Um, and when you uh, are ready, you can click on the copy button, and it will copy out that little extract you know the little summary that it's just produced for you to drop into your piece of work and obviously you can take the link with it as well if you log in take the, the citation as well 